Here is the summary of the story The Portrait of a Lady by Kushwan Singh The author remembers his grandmother as an old lady like anyone's grandmother He believes her to be eternally old and finds it extremely hard to accept that she was once young or that she played games as a child As far back as his memories went she was fat short and had wrinkles all over her face She walked around the house with a slight stoop, praying soundlessly with a rosary in her hand. She always wore white and as was as peaceful and calm a sight as snow-covered mountains in winter. The author declares that though his grandmother was never pretty, she was definitely beautiful. As a child, the author lived with his grandmother in their village. while his parents lived in the city his grandmother used to dress him up give him breakfast and also drop him to the village school every day while he learned the alphabet in his class she read scriptures in the temple attached to his school after school they walked back home together feeding the village dogs things however began to change when the author's parents brought them to live in the city In the city there were no stray dogs to feed so the grandmother took to feeding sparrows in the courtyard of the house though he shared a room with his grandmother the author went to school by bus and studied modern subjects thus the author's grandmother could neither accompany him to school nor help him with his studies this coupled with the fact that the school had no religious instruction made her unhappy she was also aghast to hear that they taught music at school in her opinion music was only for beggars or dancing girls later when the author started going to the university he was given a separate room in the house this comprehensively snapped whatever remained of their friendship The grandmother became more reclusive and spent her entire day sitting by her spinning wheel and reciting prayers. The high point of her day now was the half hour she spent feeding sparrows in the afternoon. The little birds surrounded her, chirping loudly and eating little bits of bread. After his university education, the author went abroad for his higher studies. Contrary to the author's expectation, she remained unemotional and just kissed him on his forehead when she saw him off. Given her age, the author was unsure if he would ever see her again. But she received him at the station 5 years later. There was no change in her, neither in her looks nor in her behavior. However, on his first evening back home, the author's grandmother broke her routine and celebrated his homecoming. She sang for hours on end with other ladies from the neighborhood. The next morning, she fell ill. While the doctor assured that the family that she would better be soon, but the old lady declared that those were her last hours. She refused to talk to anyone and demanded that she be left alone to pray. As she lay in bed praying inaudibly as always she passed away. And after that the author's family placed her body on the floor, covered it with a cloth and left to make funeral arrangements. When they returned a surprising sight met their eyes. Thousands of silent sparrows surrounded the dead body. They took no notice of the bread crumbs that the author's mother scattered on the floor and flew away just as quietly as they sat once the body was taken away for the last rites.